Whoa, how y'all doing out there? This is your man, Nico P. And this is the Black Effect. You already know how we do things, man. You should you shouldn't be surprised if they like and subscribe button. Donate to the Patreon if you so see fit. And the Cash App link is in the description if you you know you wanna support. And let me get into this quickly. This is a time, you know, a dire time for the black man, a pivotal time for men and women, for people of color. You know, it's one of those crossroads times, you know, where you could either go straight and go on the right path or go to, you know, to the left, to the right. You can even start going backwards. But the topic is, the title, I mean, is called The Black Man Has to Put His Foot Down in society yeah everybody seems to want to you know forget you know who he is he's gonna have to establish you know his position of dominance in society and i don't mean you know i mean as the true king of the earth the first man that was here the progenitor of all of the races you know the first people on earth were black people of color the spectrum didn't go up from it doesn't go from having from white to dark. It go from dark to light. You understand? So that's the thing, man. You know, don't let these don't let people fool you. It's funny because in history, you know, white people knew this. You know, a lot of them knew this. Even Hitler knew who the real Jews were. He knew that the real Jews was black. You understand the people of the Bible, the chosen people of the Bible that that uh, Adam, Adam and Eve, all of these people, these people were people of color. Civilization started in Africa. So do you think that those people just with that being said, do you think those people were white? That's like, you know, that's see, that's just common sense stuff. But see, that's also no other reasons, you know, why the white man, you know, didn't want. The white didn't want to teach, you know, the black person how to read during slavery times. He didn't want him to know how to read. He just want because he wanted him to feed. He wanted to be able to feed him the BS, the BS knowledge, a lot of misinformation and that misinformation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that stuck with the black man, you know what I'm saying, to this day. But uh, thankful to the most high God, a lot of us is waking up. That's why it kills me when you have people who. Uh, ignorant people who try to throw throw the discard the Bible and throw away, you know, the only power that the black man, you know, the his true power on the earth of him being the chosen man on earth, because they found that out in slavery times, and that's what allowed them to be able to get the courage and the strength to be able to revolt and to be able to be like, look, I don't value my life, and I'm fear of losing my life, and I don't fear this white man no more. He not tell I'll be out of me no more that's what it was so you need you know people instead and making up instead of making up their own narrative they should be thankful to god they should be thankful for his word thankful not talking about all oh, that white man used this man that book was around long ago before the white man got a hold of it he just did like a lot of people and he used it for his ill purposes the same way you could do with anything you could take a tool like the internet a great tool and use it to spread propaganda use it to bully use it to molest use it to hurt use it to rape you could use it for a lot of bad things same with the Bible. That's all that was. That was, you know, there were passages and verses in there that the slave master knew about and found and tried to, you know, use against the black man. But he also knew about those verses about you being the chosen, about Jesus Christ being, you know, him having bronze skin and things like that. But they didn't want to tell you that. But, you know, let me continue, man. Like I said, the black man got to put his foot down in society. But that's what I'm saying. First of all, you got to put your foot down in society to be like I'm thinking for myself, like to take to be in that crossroads and go straight. You understand? You don't have to listen to all this because it's going to be propaganda, bro. You've been fed that back in times, you know, what I'm saying where where um, the the blacks were fighting to helping the helping the white men fight in, in this country, fight the Germans. You had that that um I forget that woman's name, but it was on a, a movie showed you that where um 
that where they was that those soldiers, the German soldiers, knew about the, the how the black man was treated in his own country, and it was the, they was playing propaganda over the radio, like you know, black man, come get you, come over here, we'll treat you, treat you better. I know in in your own country, you know they 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 hate you, they they this. Why are you fighting for them? Come get some cornbread. This is what that radio propaganda was pushing. But at the end of the day, man, Germany, you know. That the end of the day, they didn't treat them. They didn't didn't value them any more, you know, than than the American people did. But there was just the propaganda they was feeding them. So now, black man, you gotta rise above all that stuff. You listen, detach yourself from social media sometimes. Get off the, you know, stop watching watching all this media sometimes. That's why I stress to you that the black American black man, that all of us, but especially the chosen man, the first Adam, black man, he needs God. You know what I'm saying? You need Christ. You need a relationship with Jesus Christ so that you can reconcile your sins and have a relationship with God. You need that. If you don't have that, fam, you're going to get swept up in this world. Remember that God is allowed you. You over here in captive times. You know, you coming from behind because this other group who owes you money. You know, like I just told you, this all this propaganda you were sold. They mental gave you all of these mental ish um, stipends, stipend you, um, um, stipend this group, group of people mentally stunted their growth purposely, you know, and then just toss them out into the economy. You got to come from behind, man. Only God allow you to jump zero to 60, go from A to Z. Otherwise, you got to go A, B, C. You feel me? I hope y'all get that. But, um, you know, and, and honest, I'm not arguing with no more. You know, it's no arguments to be had, man. You know, uh, a lot of black folks are arrogant to be in the position that they are. And they, they hard-headed. That's why they in the position that they are. But, you know, the black man got to say, forget all that. He got to put his foot down to these single-parent households, man. You know, he got to put his foot down. He got to say, look, I'm no longer being, you know, allowing these single parent households to thrive. Not only in my family, my sister not going to be no single mother. You understand? My uh, my cousin not going to be no single mother. You know, I'm going to lead by example and I'm going to put it down. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to bomb and speak this truth to them. And every time I'm going to be engaged with them, you know, talking to them. Ain't nobody. And in my community, I'm not we finna we not uh, championing no single mothers, man. You understand? We not the the men in my family ain't dating no single mothers. We not we we shaming single mothers. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not meaning you know those who who uh who have on this extenuating circumstances like with I'm not talking about widows back in the biblical times and and back in the day widows weren't called single mothers. You know they're called widows. You get it? You know what I'm saying? And for 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 kids, like I said, I mean for um for for parents who just like I said have a extenuating circumstance of a, the spouse really beating them, and not no lying woman, you know, a woman who lying just to try to get some clout or some stuff, you know, you you're a single mother, you understand? And like I said, it's not no demonization of single mothers, but it's a certain criteria that. That we have to and stand that we have to hold in our society, you know, so that these things don't become the norm and run rampant and shit because kids need their parents. You, they need a contrast of a man and woman. You understand? They biological parents. We need to put our foot down at, as men. You know what I'm saying? We also need to uh, put our foot down on the effeminization of black men. And with that, you can do that by being present in your home, you know, no D Wade, but you could do that by being pre a, a present father, a present, competent, God fearing father, and strong man in your home. A real man in his home will set the example and set the tone. You understand? You'll start. Um, you won't allow your your. You won't allow a woman to. First of all, you won't get with that type of woman. But second of all, you won't allow a woman to sit her up and manipulate your son and effeminize him put dresses on him tell him that he can be a that uh, he he's a woman or a girl you know what i'm saying just because he says so i mean kids say that they batman you know you're not finna give him a grappling hook and and batarang and start letting him run around the dpd you understand so with that being said man you know you're gonna have you need you need uh black men to be present in their home. You know, stop playing, man. 
Black men got to put their foot down. I'm saying you got to put, not only they got to put their foot down, and sometimes, some cases, they got to put their foot down and up somebody's ass. You know what I'm saying? Pardon me. Because, like I said, the black man need to put his foot down and get what's owed to him. The country owes him. They need, and, and the Ameri- the country needs to stop playing. The con- That's why, you know, you could tell that this, this country, this game is rigged. You know, country don't, these people don't care about nobody. You know, that's why these elections, I, 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 black folks need to just opt out of those. Opt out of those elections, period. Opt out of this system of bull crap. What I mean by that is no elections. No, you know, unless it's, unless they talking about reparations. Black issues, never. we shouldn't even vote anymore. We don't care anymore, you know, because it's going to be the same game. But what's going to, you know, what's, what's needed to happen is they need to give you what's owed to you. Let And, you know, and people, black folks in other countries where slavery happened, they country, you know, can can uh, worry about how they need to compensate them. But America has to compensate the descendants of the um, of the ancestors of those people who they who, who they used, raped. And, and like I said, even still, um mentally stifling their descendants, you know, and gave some of them, caused some of them to have mental illness, you know what I'm saying, definitely loss of the loss of wage, wages is, is up there, you know, some, in some cases, a generation loss of wages due to you not even allowing them to do things, yeah, that money you owe us, man, you know, and things that they built with for, for free, I'm gonna need that, but, uh, yeah, so it's time for the black man to put his foot down. We we not eating we not eating your crap. We done that. We took them way in the exhale times where our own women was talking about, you know, was oh the black man ain't nothing, he always cheating, he doing this, he doing it was a black man bash fest, man. You know, but we ate that and took that on the chin and decent brothers is bom- even bombed and, and uh decent brothers even even came back and spoke up against, you know, the degradation of they women. You know, they spoke up for them, you know what I'm saying? It was different, you know, but instead of uh you know, inst- instead of just letting the onslaught go on. You know, if anybody is gonna, you know, chastise they woman, it should be the black man. You gotta put your foot down and get her in pocket. You know, that's a that's like the a very small thing, but you need to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, put foot down and up somebody, but, you know, not literally, but figuratively for real. Because, you know, it's not no game. It's real out here. It's real in the field. With that being said, though, it's your man, Nico B. This is the Black Effect. We got to do better, black man. But you understand, you got a friend in me, man, you know, and I got love for, you know, anybody who... Who's I mean, I got love for everyone, you know what I'm saying? But definitely, you know, if you uh trying to do God's will for your life, that's who I'm with. That's who I'm, you know, um and I'm also here for, you know, those who are who are being un- unjustly attacked. And that's today, that's you know, that group of people is the American black man. He's one of them, you know. So we got we're gonna definitely fight this, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's what this platform is for, combating that false narrative, man. It's got to be a contrast against that. You talk, you say tomato, I say tomato, nigga. You talk that bull crap, and I'm going to come and slap it down. You know, I'm going to be here to contrast that, you know, that all black men, they no intelligent black men, or, or you know, all black men and some thugs, or, you know, or, or ain't no black men out here uh, successful, or no black men, or, you know, can can learn all black men, or some want to just be a super aggressive can't reason, you know. I'm, no, we're combating that narrative, man. You know, all black men just some sexual deviants. No, we're combating that. And that's why they don't like you, man. Jesus Christ was the smartest man on earth. Dark skinned man, you know what I'm saying? You seen you you heard what the Bible tells you, bronze skinned man. This man was was the smartest person who ever existed. Do you think that these people like his own people of course didn't like him? But do you think that other groups of people uh like Jesus Christ? No. You being an intelligent black man, not fitting into that stereotype. It's a certain group of people, you know, who over this country and a spirit pretty much that's over this, this over this, uh, this on this earth, you know, that's definitely over this in this country that's of, you know, won't, that doesn't like that. You know, that spirit is on this earth. You know, Satan is, 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 of course, behind that spirit. Why do you think? Because this is the first man upon the earth. The black man is here to be the salt of the earth. The white man is the one who, who brought in all this homosexuality and alternative lifestyles. Not the black man, okay? So that means we got to put our foot down against that. Ain't no feminization of albums, man. We're going to be strong kings. And you know what I'm saying? Regulating stuff at all instances. We the lions, man. We the dogs. We the wolves. You hear me? All right, man, act like it. It's your man, Nico B. I'm out of here.